Immigration is a really serious issue, especially to me. Being the son of two immigrants, my mother from El Salvador and my father from Mexico, I've grown up around immigrants from Central America all my life. These are beautiful people, and they're not at all what our past president made them out to be. But that's neither here nor there. Today, I'd hopefully like to convince you all why our immigration policies need a change. Today, I'd like to go over the question, why do people immigrate? I'd also like to go over why immigrants aren't stealing our jobs and why they're incredibly essential to our economy. And I'd also like to go over some solutions I'd like to propose for said immigration reform. Leaving your country is an incredibly scary thing. I can't even imagine it myself. So why exactly would someone leave their home and search for a better life elsewhere? In El Salvador, from the years 1979 to 1992, there was a brutal civil war happening. And at the end of the year 1989, over 250,000 immigrants had immigrated to the United States, my mother and grandma being one of them. This is only one of the few reasons people choose to immigrate, not to mention that Salvador is home to one of the most notorious gangs, MS-13. That is only one of the reasons people choose to immigrate. Another reason would be education. It is no secret that the United States is home to very prestigious edu uh, education facilities. And when your parents have a dream for you to have a better education and a better future than they did, a good education is a good place to start. Now, someone with an opposing viewpoint might argue that immigrants are stealing our jobs. This is absolutely absurd and not true whatsoever. In fact, I assume that most of us in this classroom expect to go to college and come out with a cozy, comfy job and, and hopefully a career. None of us, I assume, would want to be working in field uh, fields, uh, picking crops and, and scorching hot sun nor do I imagine any of us would rather be a maid and for some rich white lady in Beverly Hills. I think it's fair to say that we take our privilege for granted. We all have career expectations, whereas immigrants don't have this luxury to share. They have no choice but to go into survival mode and work labor intensive jobs. Immigrants aren't stealing our jobs, they're only filling the jobs Americans are too lazy to fill. According to brookings.edu, a quote from brookings.edu, however, un undocumented workers often work unpleasant, backbreaking jobs that, that native-born workers are not willing to do. In fact, they create more jobs than they steal. According to Kellogg Insight, studies show that immigrants start companies at higher levels than native-born Americans, large companies and small businesses. Undocumented workers are even integral to our economy. According to ACLU.org, immigrants pay more than 90 billion in taxes every year and receive only uh, 5 billion in welfare. Without their contributions to the public treasury, the economy would suffer enormous losses. So what can exactly our government do to help make this journey easier and safer for these brave people? I'd like to begin with talking about our citizenship test, which I find absolutely pointless and ridiculous. I've seen my mother and my grandmother study for this test countless hours while growing up as a kid. I remember them asking me questions such as Nancy Pelosi. I, a 10 year old, had absolutely no idea. I'd like to give you guys some of the questions that are on the test itself. And keep in mind that this test consists of 100 questions. The first question, what is one promise you make when you become a citizen? I don't know. You know? Another question is, the Federalist Papers supported the passage of the US Constitution. Name one of the writers. I surely cannot. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? I don't know that. I'm sure none of you guys know that. And what, uh, what relevancy that has to our daily lives, I assure you, I do not know, much less an immigrant who is here trying to survive and build a better future for their family. Another idea I propose is abolishing ICE. ICE is a government institution or agency set in place to deport uh, immigrants, undocumented immigrants, 
and send them back home to their country for doing absolutely nothing at all, who are simply here to work and provide for their families. I feel very passionately when it comes to immigration, but I know that we can fight together for a better future and truly keep our word as land of the free. I hope I was able to shed some light on an issue, on an issue in people who are always being misrepresented in, misrepresented in our media and across the nation, especially by some of our past leaders. Thank you for listening and opening your ears to why people immigrate, why our immigrants are essential and not stealing our jobs, and some solutions that I had proposed. Thank you.